parcels or objects that define areas in our civil 3D drawings. Typically, these define legal tax parcels. However, don't limit yourself to using parcels only for tax lots. Parcels can define zoning boundaries, soils maps, wetlands, drainage basins, or any other closed area that you need to label, create legal descriptions, or other reports for in Civil 3D. We can find parcels in the prospector, and they're contained within sites. If I expand this site called Parcels, you'll see it has a collection of parcels underneath of that. All parcels that are in the same site will interact with each other. This means no parcels can overlap each other if they're in the same site. If you have parcels that you do need to overlap because they represent different data sources, then you need to put them in separate sites. You can also put parcels in separate sites to represent different design alternatives. To select a parcel, you can either select it in the prospector and right-click to go to the properties or other commands, or you can select the parcel graphically in the drawing by selecting the label at the center of the parcel. When you select the parcel, you'll have options in your right-click menu, and you'll also have a context-sensitive ribbon. And here we can look at the parcel properties. The first thing you may notice is that the name of the parcel is grayed out. And that's because the parcel name is defined by the parcel name template, which resides in the parcel style. And we'll see an option for that here at the bottom of the Information tab. Other things controlled by the parcel object style would be the display, color, and line type of the parcel segments that surround the parcel, and also an optional parcel area fill, which is just a hatch pattern that can fill either the entire parcel or a buffer around the parcel. On the Composition tab, we'll see the area label that is used for the parcel, and also the parcel area and perimeter. On the Analysis tab, you can do a quick inverse or map check analysis, and the results of this could be copied and pasted out into your word processor or any other program that you may want to use. We can also define the point of beginning on the individual parcel, and if the segments are processed in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. And finally, we do have an option for user-defined properties within our parcels, and those can be set up on the Settings tab of the tool space, and you can add any additional information that you might want to to the parcel. For instance, you might create a user-defined property for zoning. If I cancel out of this, and we'll go look at the Settings tab, and when we expand Parcel, you'll see that here we have the user-defined properties, we also have Parcel Styles, and Parcel Label Styles. And there are separate label styles for the area and the parcel segments, which include lines and curves, that make up the perimeter of the parcel. And finally, you'll have table styles for either lines, curves, segments, which would be a table that would include both lines and curves within it, as well as area tables. And finally, you can set all of the command defaults for all of the parcel commands here in the commands collection.